Welcome back to this channel, The Health Light. If this is your first time that you're at this channel, thank you for coming, and I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. Today, the focus is on two herbs that Dr. Sabi talked about, dandelion and sarsaparilla. This video is strictly for educational purposes. This is only for educational purposes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to describe the TCM, traditional Chinese medicines, perspective on those two herbs I just said, sarsaparilla and dandelion. So if you have more information about it, this will just add on to what you know already. Most people know dandelion is an herb that helps out with the blood. Also with cholesterol, uh, individuals with diabetes. But here's some more profound information that you may not know. This dandelion, it is contraindicated. What does that mean? According to TCM, if you have any uh, stomach or spleen situation and you use it for a long period of time it is not recommended the nature of the herb is is basically a cool or cold characteristic and it would be bitter in taste lastly another contradiction indication would be for anyone with diarrhea specifically dandelion Dandelion, according to TCM, and I'm saying this over and over so you can remember that I'm adding on information that you might not know. Dandelion is known as an item or herb for the liver and the stomach channel. It does help with any kind of external or internal abscess especially for the breast and intestinal abscess. Also for painful uh, dribbling, urinary dribbling, or jaundice. It does benefit the eyes, sore throat, and redness and swelling of the eyes. Dandelion, again, this could be used internally or externally. Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla has been here for years and years. It has a lot, a vast amount of information. Sarsaparilla is found in a lot of tropical countries. But if you look at the previous video, it's mentioned that that particular herb was utilized in Europe for kidney issues in kidney issues and for, for the bladder. This herb is also found in the United States. It's called the Indian sarsaparilla. They have it also in India. It's just found in a lot of places. That means it has a lot of history. There is a caution with this with this particular herb. The caution is that it should not be taken with any kind of um, tea, tea or with any kind of uh, tea wear. That means that you should not really boil it in something that's made of iron. That is very, very important. Sarsaparilla is also known to help with the condition of painful urination, jaundice, like I said earlier for um, dandelion, joint pain, uh, reoccurring ulcers, or hot skin lesions. Let's review and compare these two herbs, dandelion. Both these herbs have a very similar contraindication. That is, 
if you have a spleen deficiency and you should not use it for a long period of time or if you have any kind of diarrhea. Another uh, thing about this, these two particular herbs is comparatively, they both have some healing effects pertaining to the lower part of the body. What does that mean? Basically, the kidneys when it comes to urinary issues, uh, because as I said earlier, sarsaparilla is known to help out in the condition where you have painful urination. And dandelion, on the other hand, that is known to help out for the dribbling and or painful urination and jaundice. So they both have the feature for jaundice, painful urination. The differences that they have is, unlike sarsaparilla, according to TCM, Dan, uh, dandelion clears the throat and it does benefit your eyes. Dandelion is also used for abscess, internal and external abscess, especially dealing with the breast. That would be a firm abscess or a hard abscess or the intestines. Sarsaparilla, on the other hand, it is not mentioned to have any use for uh, internal, external but it does help out with recurring uh, ulcers. They both, dandelion and sarsaparilla, it goes through the liver and the stomach channel. The nature of dandelion is that it's actually cold in nature. If you think that this video has been helpful to you, please don't hesitate and share this with a friend and leave a like, thumbs up for this video. If you are a person that has some previous knowledge about herbs, you'll recognize that both those two items, it is utilized uh, for the blood. That's what it said, but I gave you a more in-depth additional way of looking at those two particular herbs. If you enjoy learning about foods, food therapy, and or herbs, you might want to expand your knowledge on herbs. This channel is dedicated to helping others understand this information in a different way or to add more knowledge, expand your knowledge with foods and the um, herbs from uh, the perspective or from an additional perspective or knowledge pertaining to TCM. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know if you like this video.